Good evening, everybody. My name is Kathy Wyatt, and I work for Eating Disorders Victoria. As it says up here, we're the primary source of support, information, community education and advocacy for people with eating disorders and their families in Victoria. We're a not-for-profit organisation that's been around for about 30 years. Tonight, I thought we'd start with a few facts that might surprise you. Each year, around 2,000 people die as a direct result of an eating disorder. That's higher than the annual road toll in Australia. Currently, it's estimated that almost 1 million Australians are dealing with an eating disorder. And contrary to what you might think, over one quarter of these are men. 15% of women will experience an eating disorder at some point in their lives. That's one in six women. And poor body image is known to be a risk factor in the development and maintenance of eating disorders. When people struggle to accept and appreciate their body, it can change their resilience, impact their self-esteem and affect their outlook on life. Now it's easy enough to think, well, that doesn't happen in my community, but eating disorders don't discriminate. So if your community contains men, women, older people, younger people, children who, people who drive to work, people who catch the train to work, you can probably see where I'm going with this. If your community contains people like this, then unfortunately your community contains people struggling with these serious mental illnesses. So what can we do about it? Research tells us that effective prevention programs use a, use a health promotion approach to focus on building positive body image and to support good mental health. We have recently developed and piloted a six-week group program for women entitled Your Body, Your Friend. It's an evidence-based program designed by a clinical psychologist, which, as you can see, will help improve self-esteem to help us feel more comfortable and happy with our bodies, to boost self-acceptance, which allows us to feel more comfortable with our physical appearance, to take a balanced attitude towards food and exercise, which comes more naturally when we can respond to the intuitive needs of the body, and to develop a more friendly relationship with our bodies having a greater awareness of our own strengths and positive attributes that we can genuinely appreciate. So, what can $1,000 do for eating disorders, Victoria? It's pretty simple. $1,000 means that we can provide an experienced facilitator and an experienced EDD volunteer to run the program in Seddon or in Yarraville. We'll use our existing networks to find a free community venue We'll advertise locally and we'll draw on our 2,000 Facebook followers to make sure we get strong interest in the program. But if you agree with me and you want to support the significant numbers of people who are struggling with poor body image, then I think we can do a bit more. For about $2,500, we can include a practicing clinical psychologist as one of the program facilitators. We can also supply all of our group members with a book of information and helpful activities and worksheets that will support them long after the program finishes. The reason I'm here tonight is because we want to invest in your local community. We want to improve body image, self-esteem and mental health for people who are struggling with these issues. And we want to help the people that you know and care about to live happier and healthier lives. Thank you.